Well, hello, my YouTube family. I hope you'll be able to hear me because I've got the fan on high, which I'm going to lower right now. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Should have lowered it before I started recording. But I didn't realize it was that high until I started recording. Okay, people. One down, four more to go. And um, why didn't anybody tell me that I was going to get my review today? She knew damn well she was going to review me, and she didn't say anything on Friday when we were let out early. Didn't say a damn thing. She didn't have much to complain about. I've only been there six months. What you going to, what you going to bitch and moan about? But there was a new woman who started today. So she's going to be the new, 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 new girl. So hopefully uh, my supervisor will have another plaything to toy with and leave me the hell alone. Because again, she, again, obviously she, she must not have had much to do. So here she goes, mumbling about, why do we have so many folders? Why do we have so many boxes? You know what? And then at the end of my review, because she was talking about how are you doing with this and how are you doing with that, and I had to really keep it together when she said this to me. I really like you to keep, uh, you know, to keep on top of uh, cleaning the kitchen. What, bitch? <laughs> what did you just say to me? I so wanted to say yes, massa. Underneath the table, I was squishing, squishing my feet, you know, my toes like this. I couldn't do it on top of it because I had my hands clenched. I would really, be, I would really like you to keep on top of the kitchen. I said, I am on top of the kitchen. I clean it, and then when I leave, everybody else dirties it up. Yeah, you know, that's just the way it is. And I said, yeah, that's the way it is. When, I have ch when I'm not too bogged down, that's when I clean the kitchen. What else do you want me to do? I'm not high. I'm not your maid. I'm not the maid. I may look like the maid. I may put my hair back up like Aunt Jemima, but I'm not. In any event, it was a positive review. Just, just get up off me. She really needs to just get away from me. If you want me to do my job correctly, which I think she does want me to do, then leave me the hell alone. If I come up across something that I'm, I'm unfamiliar with, you'll be the first one I come to. In the meantime, you should be happy that I'm not bothering your ass every five minutes like I used to when I first started. Now I'm on my own. You can cut your umbilical cord. Let me go. I'm on my own. I can do it now. Okay, people. As you can see, I had to do a red today because I looked at the things, the other things that I still have to show you, and I just didn't. I wasn't feeling any of them. So, and it's a rainy, disgusting, yucky day. So I just, you know, I needed a red to perk me up. So I've done this lip look before. Um, let's start off with the liner. If I can find the liner. Did I take the liner out? No. Hold on. Here is the liner. The liner is Jordana Cabaret uh, line. Anfield is uh, Maybelline Color Sensational Vivids in On Fire Red, number 895, On Fire Red. It is on fire. And it does have its own little, kind of little shine, little sheen there. I love that. I love it because it's, you know, it's just enough shine. It's office friendly shine. It's not on the street corner hooker shine. This is office friendly shine. So there you have it, people. That was lips of the day. Can I just say Cousins Weekend rocked Saturday night. Yes, we went to a little off the beaten path little restaurant. My cousin Tracy, she finds these little hole in the walls kind of places, which was very nice and it was cheap. And we had some good eats. And then the movie was like around the corner, 
But when she said, the movie's just around the corner, it wasn't like really around the corner. It was like around the corner, but you had to drive still a little bit. So I was following my cousin Eric, who was following Tracy. So we got there. The movie was at nine o'clock. We, we made it in plenty, plenty of time. But guess what, people? <laughs> guess the hell what? I was so full from the food that I did not, I did not have any popcorn. I didn't have any buttered popcorn. This time, I didn't have any popcorn. I just wasn't feeling popcorn eat. I really was not. So my cousin Eric got some, I think some malt balls and or jelly beans or jujubes. I don't know. He got something. Tracy and I didn't get anything. So yeah, but we were all excited, all excited to see War of the Planet of the Apes. Honey, that that movie had me in tears. I was crying most of the, most of the movie. I was crying most of the movie. Thank goodness. I know my cousin Eric had to see me because I kept doing this every five minutes. I was like, I didn't sniff, but I was like wiping the tear away from my eyes. It's a very, you know, it, it ends the, the trilogy of Dawn, uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and then War for the Planet of the Apes. So that's the first trilogy. I know there's got to be, there's got to be another trilogy coming. There's got to be another trilogy coming because in the original movies, there was an actor by the name of Roddy McDowell. He played Caesar in the original and he also played Caesar's son, Cornelius. So I'm thinking after Caesar, there's got to be Cornelius's story. So I'm just going to sit back and wait until I'm praying to sweet Jesus that they pick up Cornelius's story. I really, I really do hope. So we shall see. We shall see. All I know, it's, it's, it's a movie that it has you thinking. I mean, if you, if, if, if you really get involved in the movie, it really has you thinking about should you be for the apes or should you be for the humans? You yourself are human, so you should be for the humans. But at the same time, the humans have their right to fight and the apes have their right to fight. And no one is wrong and no one is right. So it's, it's, it's deep. It's, it's, it's kind of intense. It's kind of intense, but it was, you know, it was, a, I enjoyed it. I don't know about anybody else. Eric seemed to like it. Tracy seemed to like it. I enjoyed it. And of course, at the end of the movie, when we were leaving the theater, of course, here comes the rain. It was starting to rain. When I tell you when I was driving home, it came down in sheets. I had to slow down. I couldn't see two feet in front of me. I mean, this rain was treacherous. But I made it home at a quarter to one in the morning. The movie was at like nine o'clock, nine o five, and it's like a two and a half hour movie. So, so yeah, it was a good movie. It was a really, really good movie. Very strong, very strong. I mean, the first the the seventies movies with Roddy McDowell. At the time, that makeup was the ish i mean i was like what they really look like real apes i mean they really did look like real apes but now with cgi and everything you really think you're looking at talking apes like they are talking apes it's it's phenomenal it's phenomenal how we've come so far as far as special effects and makeup is concerned and all of that it's really generally remarkable and you know, without Andy Serkis, when they started this whole CGI with a character and, and it's really the actor, but they, they, it's the actor doing everything that the character is doing because he is doing it, but they just superimpose the character's features on top of him. So then he is Gollum. He is, you know, Caesar. 
it's just it's, it's it's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. I mean, Whoopi had mentioned it on 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 the View, and she said we have to give him a, an award for something because he really stepped up. He moved the needle as far as acting is concerned. Now you can you can be anything with special effects. You can be a talking bubble. You can be anything and it'll look as realistic as if it was like I'm watching this movie and I am so involved in it that I'm thinking in the back of my head that you know like if some talking apes came up to me I, I would try not to be too scared but at the same time just realize okay well these are you know these are just the talking apes that I just saw in the movies and they, they really do exist that's how far gone I get, I get, I delve, I delve into, I delve into the movies, people. I don't care if it's fantasy, if it's science fiction. I am, when I get engrossed in the movie, I get lost in it. I just, I just get lost in it. Like, yeah, of course there are talking apes. Duh. Of course there are, of course it's a planet of apes. Of course it is. Like, why, why wouldn't it be? They're all talking. So, and I talk, so they can talk to me. I, you know, I'm not, I don't. I'm not going to harm anybody. I, I, I am a, a, a lover, not a fighter. I, you know, I don't. Please don't kill me because you know I could live with you, apes. You know, and I'm not going to bother anybody. I'll just, you know, if you don't want humans in your area, that's okay. Just shove me aside onto another area, and you know, we can live peacefully together, you know, or separate. You know, I'm, I just get all involved. Like if I'm watching The Hobbit, of course there are things. Of course there are people as hobbits only about two feet high, with big feet, big hairy feet. Of course there's a wizard called Gandalf. Like, why wouldn't there be? Like, hello? Duh. I get involved, people. I get involved in my movies. I really do. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Cousins Weekend rocked. She, T Tracy, she did a really good job, you know, getting a nice little place to eat. And then finding the movie, it was it was just awesome. I didn't pay anything. I was like taking out my money. They were like, "It's your birthday." I'm like, "No, it's not." It's my. I was like, "Oh, we're still in my birthday month." Okay, thank you. So everybody paid for me. I was very very happy. Very very happy, and I get to see everybody again on August first for family dinner. So that's what in two week two weeks in two weeks, not this Tuesday, next next Tuesday. It's one of them. It, it, when when you don't see me, then you'll know. So that was it. That was all. Um, this is lips of the day. Lord, sweet Jesus. I miss my reds, people. I miss my reds. I got to get back involved with my reds. You know, the, the new stuff can, it, it ain't going anywhere. I'll just, it'll just sit there for a minute. But I was, I was yearning to wear a red again. I really was. So there it is. There it is on fire red. It is on fire. For real, for real. This is on fire red. And uh, yeah, so that is it. That is all. Oh, I have to tell you again, the reason why today was so damn long was because my supervisor, well, there was a company, I guess, that we worked with that was very happy with the results that they got in as far as I don't know what. But uh, they offered us, they bought us lunch. So we had to have lunch inside, which means you can't go out to lunch because the lunch is being delivered. The lunch was delivered at 12.15, people. You know I go to lunch at 1. I couldn't go out today. So you know today was dragging ass. The afternoon would just not end. It just wouldn't. It just wouldn't end. And, you know, I wasn't the only one feeling it. A couple of other people were bitching and moaning about it, too. But it is what it is. It's not an everyday thing. So I, I, the going out of the office breaks the day. It breaks it. It's like, ooh, I get an hour to myself. I didn't get an hour to myself today, people. So, you know, we had chicken and pasta salad and like a hero sandwich. It was it was good. I mean the food was good. But I didn't go out. 
out is when I am free for, for 60 minutes. 60 minutes is all mine. I get to do what I want. I get to eat what I want. I get to just be away from the office. And then when I come back, I'm a little re revitalized to finish off the last three hours. But these hours just blended into each other. There was no break. And I'm thinking, okay, the food was delivered. We put it all in the in one of the conference rooms. And we were all going to sit together and have lunch and, you know, talk and laugh and have a good time. I see people taking food, putting it on their plate, and walking out. I'm like, oh, so nobody's going to actually sit and eat? We're going to have to eat our lunch at our desks? You know I turned off the phones. I didn't give a rat's ass on that. I'm eating my lunch. Click. When I was done, I, cl uh, I turned it back on. She didn't say nothing. So let me eat my food. At least let me do that. If I'm not, If I'm not allowed to leave my desk, then let me at least turn off the phones, which I did. I didn't ask permission. I just turned them off. We're all eating. So, but yeah, I like, even if it were raining outside and it was raining cats and dogs this morning. And I think it's going to do again tonight, but you know, I'm home, so it doesn't matter. One down, four more to go, people. And tomorrow I better be able to go out to lunch because that's my one hour of freedom, freedom. One hour, I drive to wherever I want to drive to, eat whatever the hell I want to eat, come back, find a nice parking spot, and then just, just relax. Sometimes I pull my, my, my Jeep seat back, I listen to the radio, close my eyes for just a little bit, a minute, and just whoosa, I just breathe. And then I have enough energy to finish off the last three hours of the day. But it's over. It's over. I'm home. Thank you, sweet Jesus. It's over. There was a time today I thought it really wasn't going to be. But it is. So that is that with that upon that, people. I have nothing else to tell you, to show you. I haven't ordered anything. I am thinking, however, I had some... I had some stuff in my Amazon cart that wasn't makeup related. I took them out and I put some lipsticks and all red lipsticks. I think I'm going back to my red phase again. Red lipsticks, a couple of red lipsticks um, and some other stuff. But I think it's like all makeup related. At least let me end the, the month with some makeup. They won't be coming until August. But at least, you know, give me something because my, my birthday, oh, I, need a, I need a redo. I need a redo on that. So I think I'm going to try to make up for it in my last check if I have enough. Because, of course, there are bills, people. Sorry about that. There are bills that still need to be paid. So if I have enough money left to play with a little bit then I will make another Amazon order. I'm still not touching my credit cards, so there won't be a Sephora, there won't be an Ulta, and there won't be an All Cosmetics Wholesale. I feel the pain, believe me. But it is what it is, people. At least I got some Amazon stuff coming to me. I haven't placed the order yet, but you know, I'm putting it out in the universe for the things that I want to order to come my way. I think I've only got like lipsticks I don't remember anything else that I, I, I didn't put any dewy mists. I didn't put any um, purple lipsticks. They were all red. I think they were all red lipsticks. Um, he's got, I did put in the cart um, this for him because he loves it. Look at him. He heard the bag and he's already turning. No, not yet, but both. This relaxing calm. I need to get another bag for him and another bag of food for him and his other uh, scoop free tray. So that's three things for him and I think three things for me. Three lipsticks for me and three things for him. So that's it with that upon that. There's no blushes. There's no powders. Let me get another powder. I know everybody would be sick to death with me if I did. There, there, There's no powders out there that I'm 
there's no powders out there. I've got enough powders, people. I've got enough liquid foundations. I've got enough powder foundations. At this point, I can't wait to start wearing my liquid foundations again. But, but I, that's coming after the summer is over, like maybe late October into November. When the, when the hot weather is goodbye, see ya, sayonara, bye-bye, then I go back to wearing my, li my liquid foundations. But right now, the one I'm wearing now is this, the Nuance Salma Hayek. It's like all panned up, like for real. But I'm still using the sides, honey. I'm still using the sides. It's panned beyond belief. But, yeah, no. I like when I hit pan. Ooh, I do like when I hit pan. And let me tell you about this here brush. What? You see, I used it, right? I need to stock up on brushes like they used. For real, for real. Because they really buff in a powder foundation. They buff it in. And, and it's to the point where you're buffing so nicely that, you know, some powders, not all of them, some will, will leave a nice sheen to your skin. What? Buffed this in. Buff. This pop, This brush is the ish. 99 cent, people. No, it was a penny. It was a penny. It wasn't a real penny with tax and everything. I think I, I paid like, I must have paid a dollar something. But it was a penny. In Amazon. I love the bristles. They're soft. They're dense enough where they pick up enough powder. The powder doesn't go all over the place. They pick up the powder. The powder stays in the brush, and you are buffing away. And it's not, they're not, the bristles are not hard. Some people may complain that it's hard, but for me, not hard at all. Just buff, 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 buff. Love this brush. Love it. Love it. I thought I wouldn't, I wouldn't love another brush more than this brush, the e.l.f. brush. I think it's the e.l.f. complexion brush. But this brush, because I love this brush too. This is the brush I also used to buff, buff, buff. But um, competition. There's some competition now. So that's basically it in a nutshell, people. That is it. That is all. I am done. I am going to change into my summer comfy cozies and call it a night. Just call it a night. Okay. So that's it. That's all. I love you. Let me know what you think. Is this a red or what? <laughs> Hello? Let me know what you think. And no, this isn't the same red as the red I was looking for in the Simon Mall commercial. You know I'm still looking for that, right? Till the day I die. But not as feverish as I was before. Those of you who have been with me a while, y'all know what I'm talking about. Just look up the Simon Mall commercial 2015 and you will see the Asian woman the Asian model who's gorgeous by the way of course she's a model wearing that red lipstick I'm not gonna say anymore I have spoken about it much too often and I'm done this is a red lipstick it's not that red lipstick but it's this red lipstick and I love this red lipstick ever so so that is it that is all I love you I love my YouTube family Hit me up, let me know what you think, and I will talk to you tomorrow, God willing, people. God willing, I will talk to you tomorrow. I bought some um, scratch-offs. Wish me luck on that, okay? Wish me serious luck on that. I love you. Mwah. Bye now.